Good evening, everyone. My name is David. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Youth Speak Collective. We're a youth-driven initiative based in Pacoima. Unfortunately, our community is infamous for gangs, drugs, dropout rates, and teen pregnancy. But for me, there's amazing things happening there every day. Our name, Youth Speak, it expresses the idea that youth have a lot to say and even more to contribute. So first, let me tell you about the students in our schools. We have 10% of them on the right track. Another 10% are high risk. The remaining 80% are the average students. Those are the ones that we work with. They're the ones doing just enough to get by. I believe in those youth. Five years ago, it was those students that started Youth Speak Collective because they wanted a voice. That summer, within blocks of our office, we had five murders. Youth Speak Collective responded. Students created a summer peace campaign, hosting community forums and an amazing social media design bullets that helped decrease violence that summer. These successes are why Nike came to fund our idea to turn an abandoned lot into a soccer court. It's why Kaiser Permanente funded our idea to turn parkland into a youth-led community garden. It's why the kids, they keep coming back, and why the parents thank us with homemade food. <laughs> Nike and Kaiser, they're just two examples of many other youth-led efforts to bring more resources to our community. That's what makes our program unique. It's what we call a for youth, by youth approach. Youth are identifying problems in their community, designing solutions that help keep their friends out of trouble and help them graduate high school. Last year, we served 5,000 students ages 11 to 19 through creative expression, youth development, and academic support programs. 95% of seniors in our programs graduate on time with their class. They feel more connected to their family and they know they have a better future ahead of them. So today I need your help. I need your help to expand these programs. Our goal is to go into 10 more schools and serve 10,000 more students. This requires $200,000. That's just $20 per student per year. So it's not just a good thing to invest in these kids, it's a critically important thing for their future and ours. So today I need your support. Help us increase these graduation rates, decrease crime, and create some new leaders that start thinking outside the box. We're Youth Speak Collective. Thanks for listening. Um, I, I think, uh, again, you know, you're doing great work. It's so hard being up here and all these great uh, programs. Um, I would love to know this, this majority. It's not really a niche because it's really most of the kids that are in school. It's not either side of it. Um, what the graduation rate normally is for this group because I'm not clear. And it would be great to see it set uh, in contrast to that group ordinarily. Um, but uh, other than that, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I thought it was a great presentation. And um, an area that was tough for me to grasp initially was what is it you're ultimately trying to achieve with these kids? And it wasn't towards the end that you said, you know, increase graduation rates, decrease crime rates. And I thought, okay, if you could do that up front and tell a little more about who these youth are, you know, because you said just enough to get by. And I'm like, well, what does that mean, really? You know, and who are they and what are they doing? It seems like they're getting by. You know, so are we really helping them? I thought um, the way you described the for youth by youth approach, that kind of motto, um, was very effective. And the focusing on 80% of the kids was also very effective uh, because it draws you in. It's the majority of kids in those schools who you're focused on. I would have been interested to hear a little bit more about, I mean, I know I've been to Pacoima quite a bit, and there are a lot of great programs there. In the schools, how do you interact with those other programs? Are you doing this in isolation, or are you connected to other community groups? 
little bit more information about that I think would have been interesting.